Wise men speak because they have something to say. Fools speak because they have to say something. Good morning. My name is Riddhi and I'm from grade 8. What does the proverb talk about? The proverb talks about communication. We all have heard the word communication. But what we do not know is that there is a difference between talking and communicating. There are different type of communication skills. One can learn and practice to help oneself become an effective communicator. Many of these skills work together making it important to practice communication skills in different contexts whatever possible. Now few of the important communication skills rather effective communication skills are active listening. One of the most important aspect of communicating is listening to the other person. By listening you not only understand what the person is trying to talk to you but also gain knowledge. Adapting your communicating style to the audience. You have to analyze what kind of audience you are communicating with. For instance, we cannot be communicating in the same way to a kindergarten student and a 7th or 8th grade student because the understanding capacities would be different. The next aspect is friendliness. Is it just that you know something and you want to just go and talk, keep a serious face and talk and people will listen to you? No. You should be friendly with the audience you are communicating with. Audience by here I mean maybe when you are communicating with your friends or your teacher or your neighbor or a stranger or anybody for that matter. Confidence. Yes, you know everything about the subject. But you do not have the confidence. For example, you have drooped shoulders. You do not project yourself as a confident person. Then opposite person will never be interested in listening to you. The next point is giving and receiving feedback. When you are communicating with one person or a group of people, you should always be willing to give feedback and also receive feedback. Then it is an open conversation and an effective communication. The next aspect is volume and clarity. Everything is fine. Your speech has a good content, you're confident about your speaking, you're friendly and everything. But what if you're speaking very soft or very loud? When you're speaking very loud, the crowd gets agitated and frustrated and maybe the audience doesn't listen to you. But when you're too soft, there is a lot of effort for the people to listen to whatever you are talking. So you should ensure that your volume is audible to the people you are talking to. Coming to the next point, it's empathy. What does empathy mean? Empathy is nothing but the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. Now let's take an example. Someone feels in some subject. Now you want to go and share a joke. but the person is not going to listen to you. You should understand the person's situation and then communicate to the person accordingly. Respect. Whenever you are talking, you should have respect towards that person or audience. Whether that person is younger to you or older to you or anything, you should have respect towards that person. The next point is understanding non-verbal communication. There are many non-verbal communications. Some of them are maintain regular eye contact, Positive vocal tone should be maintained. Don't stand too close to a person while having a conversation. Last one, but my favorite one, your phone. Do you know that your phone can actually help you in improving your communication? Wondering how? Let me tell you. Record a video of yours in a mock conversation. See if your body language matches your speech. Create voice memos to listen to how you sound do you use pauses like, um, uh, hmm, are you too fast? Are you too slow? So these are some of the ways we can have an effective communication. I would like to conclude by saying that the more you learn, the better. Thank you.